So I, I, I understand that it's a challenge to talk with people with diverse of topics. So I try to make my talk at the beginning uh, elementary. Maybe I, so I start from basic facts. So the, I think this should be everyone understand it. The, the classic example of the delicious form I give this. So uh, this is energy form. And then of course, this, this is, you, you make this closure thing that is a, a sublevel space. Uh, so it is completed. And uh, this sublevel space has basically several properties. One point why is that so the domain of this is dense. So after you complete it, you get a domain. This, this domain, a basic fact is that this domain that is, that is a linear form symmetric and it is dense and positive. So it makes, makes it becomes a Hilbert space. Itself is a Hilbert space. And a lot of properties that the, for any element in this domain of the bilinear form, you take its positive part and then you truncate it by one, then it will steer in the domain. And also then this form will be the, 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 this form, the linear form, we, we are not greater than the original one. So this is so uh, a general uh, abstract of this is that if you have any separable here space, and then if you have a linear form sy symmetric, uh, linear form satisfied this 1.1, then you call it symmetric closed form. And if it satisfies not 1.1, also satisfies 1.2, then it is called Dirichlet form. Of course, this is a very classical and very elementary that is potential theory and analysis. Everyone knows this. So the, I think the, uh, for, uh, for example, any negative self adjoint operator, you can produce such it, uh, symmetric closed form, and it's also associated with a strongly continuous contracting semigroup. This is one-to-one -one correspondence. So what makes it, it different is that, suppose that you have a form which satisfies such, satisfy this 1.2 then it will have the effect on the associated semi-group. Then the 1.2, that is a so-called contraction of the form. Then it will affect that such a TTF, the semi-group, where it has such kind of contraction. So and this, contraction, this contraction property, people call it Markovin property. Why it is called Markovin pro property? Because here take an example. Suppose that you have a Markovin process. Then you, you Markovin process, you, you have a transition function, you have a natural semi-group. And then this semi-group, you, you take this semi-group, then certainly it satisfies this property. So this is why it is called Markovin property. And so now, it is said that uh, a form, a, a form, a division form, it is associated with a Markovin process if and only if the semi group, this semi group, is the same. In air two things, it's the same. Then this is so, uh, association of, of course, then, um, originally the, the division form, it is an analytic object. Now, since you have this, since you have this relation, so any Markovin process, symmetric Markovin process, can produce a, a division form which satisfies this. So a natural question is that, suppose you start from a form, then how, how can you find a process which is associated with, which is associated with this form in this way? <coughs> the breakthrough is, so goes back to 
a Fukushima series then. They found that if a form uh, if a form satisfies these three conditions, the e this is called regular. If a, a Dirichlet form is regular in the sense that the basic space is a locally compact metric space, and the continuous function with compact support, which is things in the domain with the form norm, and also the continuous function with compact sub support is things. In, in, the, in, in this continuous uh, function with the compact subject in, in the uniform norm. If a form satisfies these three conditions, then it is called regular, and then this Dirichlet form, the Fukushima series, they find that if a Dirichlet form satisfies this, then it is a nice Markov process. Then in fact, it is a hand process, then there will be a hand process associated with this. So then this connect with analytically. So uh, one way you have analytical form, and another way, then you will have Markovian process. Then you, you will have stochastic, uh, stochastic analysis to this energy form. Of course, to, uh, in practical, so there, if you always work with a locally compact space, then that is not enough. See? Since Fukushima and Sears, then the Dirichlet form has become so, uh, so developed a lot, but still, then people find that then it is enough because in, any, in, in many cases, the form may be not regular. Here is an example of this. So maybe you can, you can consi consider such a shading operator. This shading operator with potential V. That's, that is given by this, this function. Here, xj is all the rational numbers, and the cj greater than zero, alpha j, uh, provided alpha j greater than the dimension, then the, this form, uh, you, you can always find, find the positive numbers such that this form, it is things in L2 space, and it pro produces singular shading operator. In this case, the form itself is a Dirichlet form, but you, you have a very peculiar situation that, so in this form, there is no continuous function, only, only zero. Otherwise, all the function it is not continuous, continuous. So this means that the, we have such a Dirichlet form, so you cannot expect that uh, continuous function with compact support is things in the domain. Uh, in fact, this, this, this measure is so-called novel rather measure. <coughs> also, in infinite dimensional case, there are many cases in infinite dimensional case, the space is not locally compact. So you have to extend the theorem so the theorem then, uh, in 1990s, so we found a way to extend it, then we call it quasi-regular Dirichlet form. This is, this is the, the title of my, my talk. This is quasi-regular Dirichlet form. Then quasi-regular Dirichlet form, which provides a one-to-one -one correspondence between Dirichlet form and the marking process. Here, the quasi-regularity condition, I write on these three, Increase. I did not use, uh, did not use the terminology the mathematically very uh, precise. I just say, uh, provide uh, your your form, your your your, your space is constituted of single compact part plus some exceptional part that you can be eligible, and also provide quasi continuous function which is things in DE. So then you don't require continuous function is things in the domain. You don't, only need a quasi-continuous function. So take, take my, start, my, my previous example. Here, although you cannot find any continuous function, not zero, which is in the domain of the Dirichlet form, but you can find enough quasi-continuous function. This, this is a, 
then you can cover cover this. Also, then if the countable elements separates the points, not all the points, but you can take some exceptional set out. Then, in this case, then you can always uh, connect with a um, very nice Markovian process, and vice versa. This is a this is a necessary and sufficient condition. Also, a uh, good thing is that such a quasi-regular division form, in fact, you can do a little modification, then it, is, it will become regular division form. This is, we call quasi-homomorphic. I will not explain what means quasi-homomorphic. This means that the space quasi-homomorphic <coughs> So in a sense, quasi homomorphic means that this space itself is not locally compact. Uh, it is infinite dimension, let's say. And then you, you take a little out. This might be capacity zero. And then you add a little. Then this will become locally compact. And the, the, you take this out. This is capacity related to the form. You add the, the, a little, it is also capacity zero related to the form. So in this way, whenever you have a quasi-regular division form in hand, you can always work with it as you are in locally compact set, the locally compact space. So um, since we have, we find this, uh, quasi regular the framework of quasi regular division form, then there are many applications. In particular, uh, many people working in symmetric Markov process. Now they feel comfortable. Then they can always associate with the uh, division form, and then because the quasi homomorphism, then they can they can assume that it is regular. Here, here's one peculiar example of, of, of the, the application. So we, let us consider the second quantization. Uh, for example, consider this safe adjoint operator, this minus alpha, uh, not nothing with alpha, alpha less than one. So alpha, if alpha strictly less than, uh, alpha strictly less than one, then it is well known this is the a generator of Levy process, it is pure jump process. And if you consider this generator second quantization, the second quantization, you, you on the fork space of the original here, here space, and then you do the second quantization of this generator A. It is formally defined by this. In fact, this here you use, you use the money, uh, abstract winner space. Uh, your now your basic space is abstract winner space. That is, so a, a kind of Banach space, it is not locally compact. So you use division, this quasi regular division form approach, you can find that, you can construct a diffusion process. This diffusion process, its generator is exactly the second quantization of the jump operator. So this I talked in uh, many places. This is in fact for physicists, they fear this is, so something, it is strange. So originally it is, uh, not, not strange, maybe can you imagine it. Originally it is a, a generator of a jump process, uh, but then after second quantization, it becomes a purely, it becomes a continuous diffusion process on the second and the fourth space. So another application is that, so this is also related to my title, configuration space. This, uh, so this project was, was, both, was motivated by such problem. So you consider this infinite particle system undergoing interaction given by the drift 
determined by this. Uh, this project, so previously like long and fit, they work with this infinite particle system. They can only use smooth sunken phi as the as the drift. So phi must be at least C3 in Rd. Of course, this is, uh, so physicists uh, don't like this because you cannot realistically, in physics situation, you can, can it is uh, very difficult to on, only use smooth function. Then, uh, since our quasi circuit issue from this, uh, this uh, uh, appear, uh, Osada and Yoshida, they find that you use quasi circuit issue form can produce such solution and with the potential that is sing with inter singular interaction and the hard hardcore potentials. So let, let me also another another reason for doing this configuration space is that so we always need to work on the loops. Basic space is loop space. And you want to construct configuration space based on the loop space. And then here also you think you need to do some work and that is base space it is not locally finite. And of course you want to uh, find the, the way to do stochastic analysis and then configuration space over loop space. So let me give a little detailed description of the configuration space setting because recently we find that it also connects with discrete mathematics. So our basic setting is that so suppose that E is a complete separable matrix space with a matrix rule. A uh, two typical example is that so E is uh, the U, U may be the many manifold Rn, and also another example is that E might be the loop space on Rd. And if you define, so in, in, in this case, of course it is not locally compact, but you can, you can define, you can find a sequence of uh, subsets which exhaust the basic space and also which has some, uh, some property which is a little similar to the locally compact space. This is uh, why I produce EK delta K here. This means that uh, you, you EK with EK and uh, you take some, <coughs> so suppose that you have, basically so the, the EK is uh, your, 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 suppose that you, your space can be can be countable uh, with this uh, exhausted, and then for each such space, you you may produce a neighborhood, and it becomes it becomes an open set, and then it will satisfy the some some properties similar to the locally compact space. Then in this case, uh, we we so the, we define all the positive border major such that it uh, which the um, each ek is finite. This is uh, uh, something play the role as the um, measure that with compact support. In, 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 this is in the infinite dimensional space. We we invent this such concept to, to analyze the, all the measures with compact support. In fact, so in any space, if, if it's an, um, a measure is locally fired, you can always find such a decay. And if, if E itself is locally compact, then such exhausting sequence always exists. For example, in the, in the free loop space, you just take EK equal to the original that's uh, less than K.
So configure this, this space over E is all the major, uh, major that uh, is finite on EK and uh, it takes only the uh, integer value. And this is a so-called multiple configuration space. And the, the real configuration space is all this such that which at, at most charge one, charge, charge one at, at each position. This is, so, uh, so this is, uh, so now, I mean that with this concept we can work with the configuration space that the basic space is a, a general matrix space, not necessarily locally finite. So with this gender setting, if on the basic, uh, if we take a measure that is finite on each EK, and then if we have a Dirichlet form that, that, that is on the base space, on the basic space, it is a, there's a Dirichlet form and it is square field type. And then we, we have a way that is technically uh, a little complicated, maybe that I will not describe it here. Ju I just said in, uh, in order to invent, you to get from the ba base space, the diffusions, you want to lift it on the configuration space. Basically, you need several steps. The first step is uh, you have to lift in the square field operator from base space to the configuration space. And also then, after you, after you lift this uh, uh, square field operator to the configuration space, then you need to check that you, you are lifting that is close, closable. If, if it is closable, then you get a, a Dirichlet form on the configuration space. And then you use the uh, quasi regular scheme to check whether or not it is quasi regular. So if it is regular, quasi regular, then according to our theorem, there is a diffusion process associated with this lifting of the uh, lifting of the square field operator. Of course, in this case, the lifting process associated with the square field operator that is in general uh, you you because you have to work with this. Uh, closability, then it is on the multiple configuration space. Now afterwards, after you get this diffusion, then you have to prove that your diffusion process, process is in fact living on the simple configuration space. I, this means that uh, you, you have to prove that your pro, the, the multiple configuration difference between multiple configuration space and the simple configuration space, that is uh, capacity zero with respect to this process or with respect to this diffusion, with respect to this <coughs> uh, the four. So this force, in, in order to do this four steps, of course, then you need uh, some technique. And I think maybe I only present here uh, so you need, for example, you need a suitable complete metric on the multiple configuration space. You need suitable measure on the multiple configuration space. And you should prove that your process is in fact living on the real configuration space, not on the multiple configuration space. Then that is, this means that multiple configuration space, the minus configuration space is a, is a capacity zero in your scheme. So maybe I just give a little detail about the how to how can we construct a useful metric on this uh, this because I choose this because this can easily explain all other 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 procedures maybe not so easy to to explain. So in, uh, in order to construct such a metric that is suitable to, to use as a, used to, to say the, the form is closable and it is quasi-regular, then originally 
originally, on the multiple configuration state, you have several equivalent matrix, but it is, in general, uh, you cannot use it. Here, we produce another matrix, which this matrix, uh, this matrix generates the same topology as the major weak, uh, uh, which coincide with weak, weak convergence of the measures. But it has, has some property that we can, we can use it to, to prove that the lifted uh, second quantization is a, can be closable and is a quasi regular. And so here, here I first uh, construct a metric which is only for the finite Fourier measure. And then afterwards, I, I extend it. Af afterwards, I extend it to, to the whole space, to the, all, the, all the measures which are finite, which, which with, with, with the finite with measures which, fi which is finite on each EK. And then this is, we call it, uh, if a sequence of measures converges with this distance, then we say it converges to gamma EK Wagner. And this, we use the terminology EK Wagner. This is really something similar to the, in the locally compact space, uh, similar to the Wagner convergence of measures. Some techniques that I use the function, I use this GAE epsilon function. This is just this shape. In fact, I, I, I construct the metric only use such simply, such simple function to construct the metric. And we only use countable many such, such shape functions. Then this is for check the quasi regularity, then it will be very useful. So, with, the, with, with such a metric and then with suitable measure. The suitable measure, I will not explain it. Basically, these three kinds of measures can be used. The first Boston measure, that is always you have it. So, provided you, you um, and downstairs in your ba basic space, you, your measure is diffuse. This means uh, no atomic, no atomic then you can always produce a Boisson measure on the configuration space. And also, a little complica a complicated thing is that you can use mixed Boisson measures. That means that you have several Boisson measures with different scanner, and you collaborate it together. Maybe more useful measure is Gibbs measure. For example, the real, how to pronounce real measures? Real. Real. Zero. Uh, this, this is so for people that are working for the quantum mechanics, they always use this measure. For, and this measure, we find that si this measure it, in our quasi regular differential form scheme, it is uh, very useful. It produces uh, uh, quantum mechanics and the configuration space with interaction. And uh, the, for the Poisson measure, then, that is a free, you, you have no, no, no interaction. But with this real measure, you, you, you have particle that with interaction. And so, if we have this measure in hand, and if this measure satisfy certain, certain conditions, I will not go to detail, then you can show that you have, really you will have diffusion process on the configuration space, not, not on the multiple configuration, on the, on the configuration space. Of course, the, in, order to, you, you, in order to check that you, you really, you can get the rich form that is quasi regular also there's some technique with, I, I put a sub in here. In fact, in each case, you may check that you, 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 in your space, satisfy such kinds of uh, assumption Q, and then when they were, this, you check it, then you get diffusion process. So uh, at the beginning, I introduced the metric. Then this metric is useful to check this kind of assumption Q. 
because the metric that is uh, you just take countable many functions and they take supreme. This is uh, one advantage of our metric. So, for example, an application of such construction of uh, diffusion process and configuration space. So suppose that we, we are in a particle distributed by Poisson measure with the intensity sigma. So here, let, let me just say, maybe I start on, on the Browning motion. So suppose that we have, a, so uh, first start, we have some particles that is distributed by a Poisson measure with, the, with, with intensity in the bigger measure. And then this is a well known fact that if you let this particle move, then in any time you look upon it, you always find that the, this particle always share the same distribution Poisson measure. This, this is so-called uh, equilibrium process. And this is called idea, idea gas model. This is, this is so, uh, so I think maybe uh, already Dob in 1953 signed it. And then Sinai and other order in 1971. The, uh, this classical example is well known for the Browning machine. <coughs> now, if it is not, it is not a Browning machine, what will happen? So there is a general framework that is by Sika and the Ka Takahashi in 1974. So their, their general procedure is like this. So start from locally compact metric space. And suppose you have a Borel measure on this space. And this Borel measure is a, is a invariant measure of a thinner process. There should be T. So suppose that you have a thinner process on, on this locally compact metric space. And this theta process has an invariant measure sigma. So uh, in this case, uh, you want, uh, so, uh, so then the, your process as a theta process may be not a, even not a diffusion, maybe just, uh, just uh, with trajectory that is right continuous with left, with, with left limits, so-called lag Cadillac. You collect all the parts of your process. Uh, I, I, here I use the call it W. That is all the all the parts of this federal process. And then you take a distribution of X T and, and W. Because you have a process. So on W, on this path space, you hold, you naturally you have a distribution of this process. So now you lift your, your uh, path space W to all the counting measures on W. That is so all non-negative integer valued measures. This is, in fact, this is, the, this is the configuration space over W. But here I did not, I did not propose, uh, impose the local finite. I, I previously, we, in, our look, in our concepts, we, we are assumed this counting measure is finite on the sequence of EK, and EK, and there's a sequence EK that is finite. Here, uh, Sika and Takahashi did not impose this. Anyway, in this scheme, they have a very nice result. So, so now, omega is the configuration space in, in Sika sense, not in my sense. And so each omega, you can present it as the sum of delta, if a delta is the Dirac measure. So then, in fact, the, you, you, if you evaluate on time t, then you create a process on the configuration space. This, this side t is a counting measure on e.
So then this is the result of Sega and the Takahashi. They prove that such project, in such a project, the Kasai T is the equilibrium process, which means that it is a Markovian, it is a stationary with the bottom measure with the intensity sigma, and also this Kasai T has egotic property. So see, this is a, in quantum, in free particle system basis, I think this is a, for, from Brownian motion to general failure process, this is a, so the Sika and Takahashi get this important result. Of course, then if you want to do more, I, I mean that maybe it's from the physics point of view, maybe this is enough, I don't know. They, they just say that in any case, you say it, it is stationary, it is the, always obey the bottom measure. But uh, if you really want to do stochastic analysis, if you want, young, want to use uh, Ito's formula or Martin's formula, then you need more. What do you need? First, you want to get such process, it is really locally finite, in the sense that you can find a sequence of EK such that it is, it is finite on each EK. This, this, this effect, this first problem, it is not, it is not trivial. Because in Sigar's model, he always says that so you have a process that is a counting measure. Uh, the, of course, counting measure means that the utmost, the, uh, at, utmost countable many particles in, in, your, in, your, in your work. But the, it may happen that when the particle moves, maybe they will accumulate in some point. Then this will destroy it. But, the, but how can they avoid this? In Sigas model, they did not mention this. Yet if you could not prove that these particles will not come together, then this idea, gas model, it is, I think it, then it is not really coincide with physics meaning. So, so the first problem is that whether or not such equilibrium process, it is a rather more rather major. This means that on each compact set, you can find at most finite particle. So if it is, then is, the part, is this equilibrium process, the trajectory is continuous. Suppose downstairs your process is continuous. If this is continuous, you don't know. And also, strong Markov property, this, this is all the proper business want to have this. Because whenever you have strong Markov property, then you can do many things. You can do Ito calculators, you can do the Martingo theorem, but if you have no strong Markov property, then you have to be every time very, very careful. You cannot do something. So this is the first problem. And then another problem is that whether or not you can invent SIGA model to once the Wurmberg process on free loop space. This means that you, you may consider that your base space, it is not sigma compact. Maybe from start, start from infinite dimensional space, and then you construct your equilibrium process. <coughs> Fortunately, so such problem with our scheme of quasi regular division forms, we can prove it. We get exact results that such equilibrium process is a continuous strong Markov process on the configuration space. And so the, here now the configuration space is it is so the um, the, and so we have a sequence of EK, then it is always finite. This means that these particles will never accumulate together. So this is so, uh, with, uh, the way the machinery of duration form, you can prove it. Previously, I think nobody noticed this problem. So of course, then you can also use this scheme to construct process on the configuration space over free loop space. 
maybe the, before you before you construct this, you maybe you first you should construct diffusions on the free loop space. I, 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 it's worth to mention that so the diffusions on free loop space and also diffusions on the loop space over compact Riemannian manifold. See all this process you can construct it by use quasi-zero Dirichlet form. Oh, how many times I, I have? Two minutes. <laughs> So maybe uh, two minutes I, men I mentioned to, so just very recently our observation. So I, I said we constructed, we con construct the con metric and the configuration space. Recently we find that so our metric can be applied to the rooted geometric graph. This rooted geometric graph that is uh, so I, I write down shape like here and also this graph the, the, the the, the edge of this graph with the length. So you, you, have, you, you have length. And then this is uh, now, nowadays, many physics are, are very interesting to study. It. So Ardaus introduced a complete separable metric on this. And the, the space is all the rooted geometric graph. So, uh, and of, of course, then. You, you, you defi he defined so-called log uh, weak convergence. And he said this metric is compatible with his log weak con convergence. So recently we find that it is exactly our configuration space metric can be used to construct such complete metric space. And so in this case, we recapture our metric on the on the root, root geographic graphs. And also, this is uh, I found on the internet. So adults and even they use the rich form to prove Barkovian process on the totally disconnected space. And uh, even on the bipartite Markovian chain, chains. They, they, you, this is uh, so uh, always this property, they properly use the a theory of Dirichlet form to construct such process. Of course, this is this is a very nice uh, subject. Resident in many physics and socialists, biologists, they are working on it. So, uh, so we we in fact we we are now also get interest into this and we are try to use our try to use our Dirichlet form and also use Markov chain Markov plot to 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 do this. In fact, physics, they do this, they are always not, uh, not rigorous with the mathematics, well, they are with many junk. And if we want to do it, we, we should do it rigorously. I think, I'm sorry, I spent too, mu too much time. Thank you very much. Is there any question, any comments? Right, so let's thank this speaker again. Uh, we don't have a break now. And, uh, right. where, where is the we restart where is in five minutes.